signed up for. <laughs> All right, on to this story we're following for you this morning. An Alabama woman who fled the U.S. to join ISIS in Syria now wants to come home. The 24-year-old's living at a refugee camp there. She says she deeply regrets joining the terrorist group, claiming she did it because she was, quote, ignorant and brainwashed. Trey Yinks is live in our Mideast Bureau with the details here. Trey. Sandra, this 24-year-old American woman who left the States to join ISIS just four years ago spoke with media outlets at a refugee camp in northern Syria this weekend. She says she wants to return home. Her name is Hoda Muthana, and she is the only American out of 1,500 foreign uh, women and children who are living in this camp near the Turkish border. She traveled to Syria in 2015 and first lived in the capital of the former caliphate, Raqqa, where she married an Australian ISIS fighter. Muthana told The Guardian, quote, I look back now and I think I was very arrogant. I, now I'm worried about my son's future. In the end, I didn't have many friends left because the more I talked about the oppression of ISIS, the more friends I lost. While Muthana says she was brainwashed online into joining the Islamic State, she was extremely active on sites like Twitter, spreading anti-American rhetoric and calling on others to kill Americans. This comes as Syrian democratic forces say the final takeover of ISIS land should be completed by the end of the week. There is a final group of fighters who are using human shields outside the city of Bagos to avoid being killed by the democratic forces. Those fighters are demanding safe passage to the Syrian city of Idlib and are currently in negotiations with the SDF and Kurdish forces. Now, there are an estimated 1,000 civilians among these last ISIS fighters, making this final operation very difficult. Sandra. All right, Trey Yanks following that story from Jerusalem for us. Thanks.